The world lost a boxing legend and a wonderful person on Friday with the passing of Muhammad Ali. His very good friend, George Foreman, sharing his thoughts on the greatest of all time. He just had this gift to where you know he was something special. Even if you didn't understand his language, you saw the gift in him. The way you describe Muhammad Ali is the greatest. He didn't have to put on anything he was, what he truly was. He was Muhammad Ali, so he didn't have to be careful. He didn't have to do anything but just be himself. I have the people thinking I'm fat. I have the people thinking I'm old. I'm at the end of the line. Now they will see how great I am. I think the, the best part of Muhammad Ali, more than that of being a great athlete or even a great boxer, was his mere presence. He'd get into the ring, and you weren't fighting a, a boxer. You weren't fighting a slugger. You were having to contend with the presence of one of the greatest human beings that I've ever met in my life. He was a great man. How do you fight a great man? Because you don't hit him with a jab. You don't hit him with a right hand. You've got to hit them back with greatness. And I didn't know that until after we fought. I'm so fast, man. I can run through a hurricane and don't get wet. When George Fulman meets me, he'll pay his debt. I can drown a drink of water and kill a dead tree. Wait till you see Muhammad Ali. I went to Africa certain that I was going to be come back with my world title, that I was going to easily beat Muhammad Ali. I lost the fight. And he's there screaming, I'm the greatest. That devastated me. And for years, I thought my whole life was bent around getting revenge on Muhammad Ali. I didn't like him. I wanted to beat him. But that all changed in the 70s. I, in the late 70s, we became best of friends. I realized that all those years, I had missed what everybody else ha had enjoyed, a relationship with Muhammad Ali. He was truly the greatest. The world, as far as I'm concerned, with Muhammad Ali's passing, has lost a gift that'll be hard to replace.